Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to take a look at a inexpensive ballpoint pen. And this is the Bic Round Stick Extra with an X Precision for Precision and Control Ultra Fine Writing Ballpoint Pen in Blue Ink. I have reviewed the Bic stick here previously. Uh, you can see that. I actually think I did so in comparison to the Bic crystal. However, that was the medium point round stick. And um, this is the fine point. So the medium point generally is a 1.0 millimeter ballpoint. The fine point is generally a 0.7 millimeter uh, ballpoint. So what we've got here is um, the fine point in the round stick. Uh, this is a box of 12 and um, you know just this is a very common uh, pen and uh, it, a lot depends on one's preference in terms of uh, uh, of line uh, that you like to write and you know um, I see I paid two dollars and nineteen cents for this box of pens and um, uh, blue ink 12 ballpoint pens and pretty straightforward round stick. These are made in Mexico at the BIC factory there. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am generally someone who uses a medium point pen or even more so a, um, well, a, a large, uh, for lack of a better word, ballpoint pen or what they call a bold, uh, which is a 1.6 millimeter line um, in the Bic Extra Bold. Uh, so I don't use a lot of fine point pens, although I do uh, in doing, say, bookkeeping and accounting tasks often, um, where you're having to write in very small and confined spaces. Uh, it does give you more control uh, to have a finer point. Um, and so this is the Bic Round Stick. And it is identical to the round stick that we are used to seeing in really in every way. Um, it is a round barreled pen as opposed to a hexagonal uh, shape like the crystal is. Uh, so you can see it's in a translucent blue barrel uh, that allows you to see the ink inner ink tube so you know how you're doing with your ink supply. I always think that is a nice feature. And then you have your tip here, uh, embossed here in, it says Bic uh, there and in very small, uh, it, it's hard, the camera can't pick it out. It's even hard to see with the eye, but it says Bic on the actual <clears throat> um, point at the end here. So this is it. We'll do some writing with it and see how it performs. So we're going to do a little writing here with this Bic round stick. Um, the cap does have a pocket clip on it um, and it has an air vent here to prevent a choking hazard. So we'll put that in. Let's, let's see if we can get the pen starts right away. very sharp line um, and 
this is an example of a different feel with a fine point pen. Um, in some ways, I think you do feel a little bit more control with a pen like this. And certainly, for writing numbers, again, I use this, say, in a check register where I have small, confined, and defined spaces. The pen itself is fairly smooth. Yeah, you know, it um, it doesn't have the same um, fluidity and uh, while it is a relatively smooth pen, it doesn't have the glide, uh, the noticeable glide across the page that you get from a pen with a larger ball at the point. Um, this does feel more like uh, you are kind of um, pressing on the paper rather than sort of gliding over the surface of the paper. And again, it's a sharper point you're feeling it when it hits the paper. Um, but that's a fine point. So if you prefer a sharper point, a thinner line, um, then you know what? This is a inexpensive, um, certainly very accessible pen to use and one that you might enjoy writing with. Um, but all in all, it performs nicely uh, for the kind of simple, straightforward pen that it is. And uh, again, it's, I know it's available also in black and I believe in red in the fine point, the round stick. And um, if that 
if a fine point suits your needs, then this might be, a, again, a good, um, inexpensive, all-around option for you. So, thanks for spending some time as we did a little writing with this Bic Round Stick Fine Point Ballpoint Blue Pen. And we'll see you again real soon right here on Always Analog.